The Hermes Kelly belt is literally the only belt that you will need in your life. Literally the best investment. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Amy. For those of you who do already follow me, you would know that my Kelly belts are actually Kelly pocket belts. Basically, it's a little detachable card holder, loose keys, uh, up to 10 cards. And if your lip balm is quite slim, you can definitely fit it in here. So I have been a big, big fan of using these for when I travel. Because I'm such a big fan of this belt, I had to go ahead and buy a third one when I saw this color because I was thinking that I needed a belt to go with my constant slim so this is an actual small leather good that is a real belt bag but it doesn't come with the belt so you do have to use your own belt for this item the brown and the black Kelly belt looks fine with it depending on the outfit but I think this one will really really match it a lot better let's go ahead and unbox it. For those of you who've never seen a Kelly belt unboxing, the first Hermes belt I ever bought is the Constance belt. I'll show it to you guys and I'll do a quick comparison. Um, that one came in a whole different packaging many, many years ago at the time. They had like a mold for it, but I think now they've all changed to um, actual dust bags in a box, which I actually much prefer because I use these dust bags to travel. The belt that I chose, so pretty, is in the white color. And of course, I went ahead and got the Kelly pocket version. So it is the Kelly belt in Epsom leather in the color Cré, which is chalk in French, and gold hardware. And of course, the Kelly belt being the best belt that you can ever get your, for yourself. Uh, one of the big reasons is because it's completely adjustable. This one is in Gris Tour de Rêle, but because mine is in Exotic, it has almost like a white, um, you see some whites underneath. And so it goes very well with this um, white color belt. So anyway, this is how it looks like with the little pocket. So I could use it either with a pocket, without, or with my Constance Slim as well. This is my very first Hermes belt. At the time, I didn't know better. I went with orange and black. I don't know why I went with orange. <laughs> but anyway, that's my very first Hermes belt so many years ago. Having owned so many different belts from so many different fashion houses, including Chanel, um, I have to say the Kelly belt is the best belt out there. Of course, the white belt will go very well with my current outfit. This cute little blouse is from Lily Silk, which is also today's video sponsor. I did choose mine in size four, which is slightly big on me. So if I were to buy it again in their black color, for example, I would choose the size two for this one. To complete this outfit, I also went with their double layer silk tall skirt. The outside is the translucent silk and the inside is this gorgeous 16 mom charmeuse lining invisible zipper on the side if you're after your perfect white skirt you will be in love with this one i went with size 4 for this one which is true to size because this skirt is a little sheer opt for skin color underwear or you can go for a pair of shorts like the ones i'm wearing right now these are white silk shorts so it can act as an extra lining it won't show your underwear that way the good thing about this little top is that it's so flowy and easy to tuck into any sort of bottoms for instance this beautiful pair of black trousers which i owned from lily silk previously it's one of my favorite i own it in both the white color and the black color this one is their amalfi striped shirt i got it in size extra small slightly oversized maybe because of the regular fit 16 mom wrinkle resistant silk all part of their new spring 2023 collection day to night with this shirt wear it to the office with some trousers or wear it with some jeans for the evening. The vertical stripes are very slimming. I also like how striking the pattern is. Their blouses are just always so perfect. The sizing, the cutting, this will pair super well with the brown Kelly belt. How often do you see bomber jackets made of entirely silk? My style is definitely leaning towards the more dressy side, but I love a good casual outfit as well. And the thing is, with bomber jackets, it's really hard to find one that is too casual. It also has pockets. The shape is so cool. It's almost got that bat wing. Blue paisley flowers. I like that this side is a little bit more dressy and more elegant, but it's still sporty at the same time. So I can definitely dress this up or dress it down. I can literally throw this into all of my bags when the air conditioning gets a bit too cold in the summer. You guys have to get this. It's so cool. For this bomber jacket, I went with a size small. So this is the orange side. 
my gosh, it's so cool. <laughs> I think the orange side is more casual. I definitely picture myself wearing some sort of like t-shirts and then draping that. I did get one of their Mother's Day gift set and it came in this beautiful ribbon and box. You can also use my coupon code AMYC12 to save an additional 12% site-wide. I am just the biggest fan of their PJs. If you're looking for a Mother's Day gift, their gift boxes are an excellent, excellent gift idea. The gift box that I went with comes with also their silk pillowcases, literally the best material you can sleep on because it's comfortable and it's silky smooth, but it's actually good for your health because it's good for your skin, it's good for your hair. Uh, the reason why it's good for your skin, which a lot of people don't understand, is because silk doesn't absorb moisture like cotton would. That way it won't dry up your skin, it also won't dry up your hair. I literally use my washing machine in the most delicate cycle to wash these garments. It's so easy to take care of. Silk is literally my favorite, favorite material and you can never have enough silk pillowcases. Okay, back to the Kelly belt. So let's talk about the pocket first. The pockets themselves are not a must. Uh, they're not a necessity but it's nice to have as you can see it's pretty roomy i have seven cards in there right now at the moment and obviously with 10 cards it will start to get a bit tight and you really have to push the flap down to close it but uh seven cards it does fit very comfortably looney and a couple of tunies so that can go in front so that can fit there loose keys that's right there. It's getting a bit tight because that key ring is taking up some space, but it does close. So it gives you an idea of how much it fits. You can maybe do a double fold if you have just one bill and just kind of leave it, leave it hanging on top like that and just close it. Or you can just fold it in three. There you have it. That's like the bills folded with seven cards and three coins, uh, three large coins. The card holder or the pocket they call um, is pretty simple. It has the Elmez stamping right there in the front. It's a snap button closure. It does have a grain, a fine grain to it. It's not so smooth, so it's definitely a bit more scratch resistant. Um, the little snap button is very beautiful. And it's just like this sort of angular cut, a bit of a gusset, not too much, just a little bit of a gusset. And of course, you've got the belt loop in the back. So that's your card holder. I've also used this as an actual card holder inside my bag. The white version, it is the exact same thing. Actually, let me just leave it on the belt. The exact same thing. The inside leather is the same texture, also brown color. Um, it has a slight grain. I, I really don't know what leather it is, but it's the same capacity and it has the same belt loop and it goes onto the Kelly belt so perfectly. Um, it's pretty tight as well. It wouldn't come off easily. Uh, and so it does take a bit of maneuvering when you put it in, you have to really use some strength. So I'm trying to pull it out. You see, it's not that easy to... Uh, get it on and off of it so it won't come off easily anyway. So that's your little card holder and this is the color Cré, which is a really really pretty white color. It's an off-white color. When they are brand new they do come with the stickers on. I uh, would recommend that you remove them because Almez hardware, as beautiful as they are, and because they are gold-plated, the stickers, there's a shadow there. If you don't remove it, there's going to be a shadow of the oxidation. Can you see it? It's very faint because it just started, so I can literally rub it off probably. Yeah, it's, it's rubbing off, but I will just caution you guys. I've had the experience of my hardware tarnishing. It was a brand new item and of course I've had to take it back to Hermes. But I'm just uh, cautioning you guys to remove your stickers as soon as possible. It's literally gonna get scratched and there's no other way around it because it's metal on metal. But I'd rather you have scratches than to have actual oxidizing and color change on your hardware because that's 
uglier to be honest like scratches with the reflection you're not gonna see them just like your bracelets you don't see them but with hardware discoloration you will literally see them and it's gonna be an eyesore so all the hardware is gone i mean the hardware sticker <laughs> um and it's so shiny now it's beautiful for sure rose gold is the most sensitive followed by yellow gold palladium is the least sensitive but i still recommend that you remove it so i already removed it in the front but i forgot to do it in the back so there you go all the stickers yeah the palladium is fine but palladium is the least sensitive but still i, I honestly just remove them because there's no point in trying to in trying to protect them while it's actually harming them. I should do that with my Constance because I didn't wear my Constance since getting it from Hawaii. I didn't have the chance to remove it. But yeah, it's off now. Look how shiny it is without the stickers. So much better. Honestly, if I had left it on any longer, I feel like it would start tarnishing underneath and change color or maybe some of the sticker will start uh, sticking to the hardware and it's going to be so unfortunate because it otherwise looks so beautiful and shiny and scratches are fine it's better than the color of your hardware changing okay pros and cons of the kelly belt it's totally adjustable so it'll fit if you're very skinny 60 centimeter waist or if you're a little bit thicker, up to a hundred centimeter waist. Second pro, I find that after owning so many different size of belt, styles of belt, including Chanel, the Kelly is the perfect style to dress up or down. It can elevate a very casual jean outfit, uh, but it also really elevates a much more elegant like skirt outfit or trouser outfit. I also find that because it is 18 millimeter, the thickness of the belt, it's really the sweet spot because they have 13 millimeter width as well. And then of course they have the thicker belts. The thicker the belt, the more casual it looks. So I have the Constance 24. It's a great first belt for at the time when I decided to venture into Hermes. The reason why I went with 24 millimeter and not the thicker version that they have is because I wanted it to be a bit more feminine. You can see a lot of scratches on there but it still stayed really nice and shiny overall because the light reflects back so even though there are a lot of scratches it still remained really beautiful and I didn't wipe it or anything. I'm sure if I did it would look even better. I think I bought it in I want to say 2016. It's a long time ago. But my point is, I find that the width of the Kelly belt being 18 millimeter is really the sweet spot for something that can still be very elegant, but also casual. Also, I do find that the H, while it's a smaller buckle because of the 24 millimeter, um, it's still a little loud, whereas the Kelly buckle is really demure. Um, and unless you know Hermes, which I know a lot of people do now, but it's actually kind of under the radar. Another pro, which I think is the fourth now, uh, is that their leather belts are so well made. I've owned a number of belts in my lifetime, from Gucci to LV, Chanel to Hermes. I have to say Hermes belts are the best made. In terms of wear and tear, I have more wear and tear on Chanel belts. A lot of people have had wear and tear on their Gucci belt with the hardware tarnishing really, really bad and scratching really bad in terms of craftsmanship and material because lv the belt that i had at the time was a canvas duo with leather um i just much prefer the kelly belt the the kelly belt just excels at all the category and style now cons the kelly belt is a little bit expensive if you've known me and my journey i didn't buy this belt until my second year of shopping at Hermes, which is crazy because most people would just go straight to their belts but I didn't buy this belt for a long time. I resisted a long time, but one day I decided to try it and the rest is history. <laughs> Another con of this belt is that, depending on your waist, I suppose, if you're very petite, um, then the overlap of the, you know, the adjustable part can be quite a bit. So let's say you're very small, right? Let's say your waist is tiny, then you will see a lot of the overlap in the back. And you might also see some of that um, extra belt loop. This is the part that might show up 
for a lot of very petite women if it was even further in. From a styling perspective, it can be an eyesore. To me, I think it's such a minor thing because as you age, and also depending on if you've eaten that day, a bigger meal, your waist can change quite a bit. In my case, it does. So um, it's a minor inconvenience that this little part can show up quite a bit in front of your waist if you're very petite, but um, it's something to consider. These tabs right here that makes the belt adjustable, they can be a nuisance when you go through each of the belt loops because it's kind of like an obstacle. That's also one of the cons of this belt is that because it's adjustable, there's going to be always this constant tugging and kind of like going through the belt loops. Whereas a smooth belt like this one will be a lot easier and faster to put on and might actually look better for some casual pants. But in general, I will say the Kelly belt will suit all kinds of pants. So the Constance belt is still a really great belt. Obviously, if you always dress casual, then maybe this belt is actually better for you. And it's also cheaper and it's adjustable and it's reversible. But if your style is more similar to me where it's actually usually a bit more dressy and more feminine, then the Kelly belt is definitely more well-rounded because it can still go with skinny jeans, casual jeans, but it can definitely dress up a very elegant look. Another con for the Kelly belt is that it's not reversible. Wouldn't it be great if it was actually reversible like a lot of their other belts are, right? Because then you get two colors in one. It contributes to their belts being expensive um, because if you want multiple colors, you have to get multiple ones. And because you can't just interchange the hardware, so you'll end up buying multiple ones if you want different combinations. In conclusion, the Kelly belt for me has exceeded all my expectations. It's so easy to travel with. I literally just wrap it around, put it in its dust bag. You can also feel its substance, it's well made. I'm just a big fan and I feel like after getting the Kelly belt, I don't ever really want any other belts. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I also host a live stream every week. You're welcome to also join my membership. Thank you so much and I'll talk to you guys in the comment section. Bye!